How you doing? Paul Gordon here, Harry American Control, the fine art of face dancing, talking to you about the power of communication and why your communication skills, when you use them to the best of your ability, are immediately more potent, powerful, impactful. And I am going to tell it in the form of a story that you will get. You understand this because you may have been there yourself, you have friends who have been there before, or if at the very least, you will understand this because it rings true. Okay, here we are. You and I are both looking for a job. That's the scenario. We are both looking for a new job and we are posting and examining various places, scrolling on all sorts of online sites and we each find one. It might be LinkedIn, maybe it's Facebook, maybe it's some, I don't know, some job forum. We send in our credentials and our desire for an interview to the email and we get a response and we this is this is not lockdown world so we are invited to the office and we are sitting in that uh ante room the lobby of the office and you go in and you meet the manager and you sit down and you have a talk with that manager it's only a five minute talk because usually these talks are five minutes long. Okay, you have studied. You are ready. You had a good night's sleep. You had a good breakfast. You're feeling energetic. You're perky. You're alert. You sit down. You smile. You feel connected. You're interested. You ask interesting questions. You listen well you give a good impression. And after those five minutes, the boss does not say, thanks very much, you got the job. No, bosses don't do that. What they do do is shake your hand. Hello, thanks very much for coming. Delighted to meet you, because that's what bosses do. And then you go out, leaving feeling good, and the boss comes out and the boss invites me in. And Paul, Paul didn't have a good night because Paul at home has a dying dog. And Paul loves his dog. And Paul knows that one of these days soon his dog will die. And the dog keeps him up at night because old animals, that's a difficulty. So Paul is exhausted, did not get good sleep, did not get a good breakfast, and he's distracted. Paul is thinking about the dog at home. Maybe when Paul gets home from this interview, his dog is gone. So Paul does not pay close attention in the interview. Paul looks a little haggard. Paul doesn't ask good questions, doesn't always smile, isn't focused on the meeting. And at the end of those five minutes in that interview, what does the boss do? The boss does not say, Paul, you sucked. Don't ever come here again. That's not what bosses do. What bosses do is bosses raise their hand and shake hands and say, Thanks so much for coming. It was a pleasure to meet you. Because that's all you get in those five minutes. So, we both go home and we examine our posts and we are waiting with our phone for an email or a text invite to come back that we got that job or we have the next interview. Who thinks that Paul would get that job? Hands down, right? Okay. Do you think that you would get that job? Hands up if you do. Of course. Well done. The boss did not meet us for more than five minutes. The boss only knows what is on the resume and that first impression. I happen to be a very good worker. I happen to be an incredibly smart person. I have run my own businesses and I can help diagnose problems. 
in a business that are perhaps just middle management or lack of communication, I can help that business, but I won't get that chance because my skills in that five minute interview were destroying my ability to move forward in that. Whereas yours, were in perfectly fine form and you may or may not be adequately suited for that job, but you are going to get that over me. The boss doesn't know you. The boss doesn't know me. That is the power of effective communication. And that is why you want to ramp up your game with your communication skills. Think how potent you are when you know how to say what you need to say into that camera lens and really bring it. With everything you already have and the passion within you for the things that you know you can deliver, how's that? for tapping into your effective communication skills. Just a friendly reminder from the art of face dancing and the hairy American troll. Go get him!